I will just share with you my personal story. I've been fascinated by cool stuff from around the world for a long time since I was young. A lot of the things we bought uh, at home, the technology we used and so on, always had a little title written on it at the back, made in X country. None of those countries was Africa, and I always wondered from the time I was a child, why didn't we have any cool stuff that we made? Our television, our iron box, everything came from somewhere else. And so the question, why does cool stuff come from elsewhere, has been my big passion for a long time. And a few years ago, I left home and decided to go to the United Kingdom and the United States to find out why can kids at 16 get cars for birthday gifts or graduation gifts when it's so difficult to buy a car even if you have a PhD in Kenya? And this led me to learning a lot about economics and about business and business models and so on. And then after that, I did a film, long story how I got to do the, the film for the BBC, traveling through the continent of Africa from Cairo to Cape Town just to see for myself the rest of Africa that I used to see on television. And I was so surprised by a lot of what I saw. Much of what I saw was politics standing in the way of people achieving their dreams. Lots of smart young people who were just frustrated and kind of sitting under the weight of circumstances that I couldn't really understand. And now, one of the interesting things that I'm documenting is what we're going to see here today what technology has done while politics is still jogging on the spot to give these children, these young people, these old people, tools in their hands with which to break out of this mold that they've been stuck in. And so my work as a filmmaker is documenting uh, the applications of technologies like mobile phones and what people are doing with those exciting things, the innovation that's going on in banking and insurance from that, the innovation that's going on in um, second-hand car industry, just housewives going online and importing cars from places like Singapore and Japan and bringing them in, how this is now fomenting political change actually because the ports are getting overloaded and the government is being forced to think of adopting more technology to do this and there's a domino effect that's just marvelous to watch uh, as technology is liberating those of us who for a long time thought we'd have to wait for the politicians to change things. So I'm excited to be here, excited to hear the stories and see some of my heroes that I've just been reading about demonstrate what their work is about. Thank you very much.